name's Scott, this is Zach, directors of Chopper Town. We wanted to say uh, thanks for the support everyone's been giving us. It's, it's been a journey these last few years. It started in 04. When, oh, did, it, when did it actually, when did the craziness actually start? Yeah, 04. Well, we had ideas for several years of doing a bike film, but uh, in 04, we finally, Chopper Town was conceived. Yeah. We got it together. And uh, we saw an article about Cuddy in the Horse magazine. Something popped out of the page, you know, Sinners, Cuddy, the bike, just something. And, and Cuddy was wearing a Salinas Boy shirt. And that's, that's how we figured whoever's wearing, he must be wearing a shirt of a guy he knows or a friend. So we looked up Salinas Boys and Zach gave him a call. Yeah, I think it was, who answered, Cole? Yep, Cole picked up the phone and uh, you know, I said, hey, we're, we're filmmakers in LA and we're thinking about maybe making a documentary about the Sinners. Uh, do you know, happen to know who Cuddy is? He's wearing your t-shirt. And he said, yeah, I'm a Sinner. Cuddy's a friend of mine. Uh, it'll probably be pretty neat. Uh, you should give him a call. So we ended up talking for a couple hours and uh, he gave us Cuddy's number. And then uh, pretty much right after we hung up the phone, we got a phone call. And it was uh, someone at the other line, at the other end of the line. It was Rico. He goes, "My name's Rico, and nothing happens to the sinners without my say so." <laughs> so that we're was like, it. We, that was it. He says, "Come over. Let's talk. Let's get some beers." We met the first two people we met were Rico and Cuddy up at uh, up at the shop, at Rico's shop, and up you know even till now we're great friends. They're great guys. The spirit, you know, the, the chemistry was there from day one. So that was, that was important. I mean, I guess, I guess what drove us to make the film was to really make a film just about the real deal. You know, just about people building bikes in their backyard. If you don't have a part, you, you make the part. Making bikes to ride, you know. You know, ride the hell out of them. And uh, good friends. We started to get a small crew together. It was uh, our first film, so you know who knows how to shoot a film or make a film. Was, but we had the ideas, and you know we had the heart. Um, and we got our our good friend Armando, who was in school at the time at AFI, and he, he was talented and with a camera. And he was our cinematographer, but only for a short time because school started to get heavy and things started to get crazy. So we had to take up some jobs ourselves. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Scotty, Scotty. Mouse run. Is there a mouse run? <laughs> Where'd he go? He keeps popping in and distracting me. He's <laughs> freaking me out. But <laughs> In our high-tech surroundings. We called up a good buddy of ours, Michael Barron, who's uh, an ex-stuntman. And uh, he said, oh, you know, I got, I got a camera you guys can borrow. Just, uh, you know, Go ahead, don't do anything dangerous with it, you know, just borrow it. So, uh, Scotty took the camera and started practicing shooting. He goes, I think I can get a hold of this. It was just like this setup. It was pretty much like this. And uh, that was it. We never really told Michael until the first screening that, you know, we were having Scott stand out of the sunroof of our, uh, our film car. Couldn't believe the first night. There we are with, with Armando. With the music. Everything. You know, so there we are with Armando, and he's like already like, what did I get myself into with these guys filming? And uh, so we go all the way out to Hemet, and uh, we're at Shooters, which I don't think exists anymore. And uh, it was just a great scene. Just all sorts of people coming out, getting real wild. The white walls were rocking. There was a mosh pit. I felt like I was back in the 80s. And uh, all of a sudden a fight breaks out. Oh yeah. And uh, we're right there, right in the middle of it <laughs> with the camera. And we're like blocking Armando to save him from the, from the swinging craziness. And uh, the white wall. I think he used the camera a couple of times. Yeah, and the white walls uh, kept playing, which is what you're always supposed to do in a bar fight if you ever watch an old Western. And uh, things just got, crazy and fun and 
and then uh, some of it spilled over onto the guys and next thing I know there's oh there's Dustin in the pile and there's Rico throwing people across the room and it was cool yeah, <laughs> it was fun. fun good first day it was yeah. a good first day they had a blast though The freeway scenes were the best. Uh, you know, obviously we didn't get any permits for shooting on the California freeways. <laughs> I thought it was legal, actually. Yeah, until <laughs> later in we're Hollywood. talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> well, in California, I thought it was legal to shoot, but but uh, not standing not. on the seat, <laughs> going out of a sunroof yeah. with a camera in your hand at 80 miles an hour on the freeway in traffic. So the good thing about our old. Uh, Mercedes Benz, this diesel, is that it has a huge sunroof. You can fit like four people out of it. Bad thing is it only does 70 down top downhill. I got it up to 80. A couple times. 80. So it was, you know, at times it was tough to keep up with the bikes. You know, the guys get on, they forget we're there, so they just they haul ass and and uh, we're hauling ass after. We're hauling ass. I thought Zach was slowing down. I would be yelling at him, "Go faster!" He'd be like, "I am." You know, we're having. You know, we're spatting back and forth, but she was she was gunned. You know, yeah, it was good. Unexpected turns and motorists lost me. The look on motorist's face when you pop out the roof was the best thing. I'd look in my rearview mirror. Behind us, people were like slamming on their brakes. They're like, "Oh my God, you know what's going on?" Some crazy guys jumping out of his car. Yeah, they thought I was a sniper or something, or something crazy. That was funny. Or a rocket launcher dude. I'm sitting there driving. You're like, "Get closer, get closer." I'm like, "Great." You know, I'm gonna run over the guys while we're making. It worked out all right, you know. Yeah, Good teamwork. Done. So we're actually sitting on a couple of old Triumphs. Um, I bought this old project bike from Matt DeRat. Works for Jimmy White down at Circle City. So it was a cool buy. It's um, it's pretty solid, but it was just cool buying a bike within the family. You know, it was really really cool. The one Zach's sitting on is actually a donor bike. It's I'm going to use the motor out of that. It's a 650 Bonnie, 1971. It's an abandoned uh, cafe project that we picked up uh, a few weeks ago. It was a really good score. So Zach and I are going to rip these suckers down and make two bikes into one. And uh, we're hunting for a little horse. Well, not a little horse, but maybe a big horse. <laughs> we're going to wrap it up. Just want to say thanks again for all your support and, and love, and just it's been great. I mean, it's, it keeps us going. You know, uh, it's, it's not easy, and we need all the support we can get. So, well, thank you. Thanks to everybody, definitely for keeping our dreams alive. We really appreciate it, and uh, we're gonna keep working hard to bring you films that you like. Hopefully, thanks.